Hello my lovelies! So uh, we are making a traditional Spinoco family holiday treat. Um, uh, my grandmother calls it Prisnet. Um, I suspect it may perhaps be either German or Polish, but I don't know, and she doesn't either. But we make it. Um, anyways, <laughs> it is um, savory instead of sweet. Uh, we really only make it at Christmas time because it is so fattening that you really shouldn't eat it any other time. But everybody gets fat at Christmas, so hey. Um, or some of us, you know, are already fat, so whatever. Um, any hoodles, um, I am making this today and sharing it with you because uh, my friend Squiggy Flop, um, who shall hence be known as the Squiglet, as I call her, um, had remarked that everything at Christmas time during the holidays is sweet. Um, and this isn't. So I'm kind of making this for her. Number one, because she loves the bacon and cheese as much as I do, and uh, which are both in here. And um, yeah, so she has something savory to make at Christmas, especially since she helped me out at Thanksgiving with a really cool corn pudding thing recipe. So any hoodles, um, I'm going to switch because you don't really need to watch me do this so that you can get a close up of our ingredients. All right, um, so. Uh, edit. Ooh. Alrighty. So, um, I am sorry my kitchen is so dark. Ta -ding! But this is, um, our ingredients. Uh, well, first of all, first of all, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. You see there? We're going to cook it at 325 for one and a half hours, then 350 for 25 minutes. Yeah, it takes a long time. So, um, there's our ingredients. A pound of ham, a pound of brick cheese, uh, I use extra sharp, one pound of bacon, three bunches of green onions, one dozen eggs, one teaspoon of salt, and two and a half cups of flour. Um, ham, green onions, salt, cheese, bacon, a dozen eggs, and our flour. Um, you're going to bake it in an angel food cake pan. I already panned and floured it. Um, but yeah. So basically, we're going to whip these up, and then we're going to add all of this goodness, and then we're going to add the flour. So let's do that. As everybody looks down, um, yeah. Cooking, cooking. Cooking is fun, y'all. Um, yeah. There, we're whipped for the most part or beaten. Gosh, that's a lot of eggs. Like I said, this is absolutely fattening. There is no possible way to make this not fattening. Okay, bacon. Dump that in. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a picture in of how I cook my bacon, which if you don't do it that way, will save you all a lot of time. Um, well, not really time, but mess, which is good. Um, ham. Yeah, ham. One day I'll have a cameraman piece and it will be awesome. All right. Um, onions. Most of them anyway. And then I'm going to add the cheese. And it looks like this container is totally not big enough. Once I start stirring, it'll be better. So let me add the cheese and then the flour. And then I will be right back. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. So I was right. I had to get a bigger bowl. Um, my other one wasn't cutting it. So, um, as you can see, it doesn't look beautiful, but that's okay because it tastes good. But uh, you just want to keep stirring until the flour is like mostly incorporated. And then I'm going to put it in this. And then we are going to cook it. Um, set your oven timer for an hour 30, an hour and a half. Um, we're going to do that at 325. And then just leave it in the oven, crank it up to 350, and set your timer again for 25 minutes. And I will be back. Um, hi. I will be back with you then, um, you know, in like two hours, to see what it looks like after. All right, see you in a bit. So here it is right out of the oven. Um, 
Yay! So I'm going to cool it on a cooling rack for, uh, I don't know, about 30 minutes. And then I will pop it out and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okie doke, back in a sec. Hi. So, um, here's our prisnet. I'm going to cut it now so you can see what it looks like. You just want to slice it. Um, it's super dense. It's like uh, bread. Almost. So, um, yeah. I use a bread knife because that seems to work pretty well. Um, still pretty warm, but I was tired of waiting. So, yeah, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let me check. Ta-da! Yeah, kind of, sort of. Gosh, it's so dark in my kitchen. Um. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, I still can't see very well. So we'll do this. Um. Yeah, and you can just pick it up and eat it. Let's see. Light. Light. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um. So that's Prisnet. Um, and it makes a whole lot, and you just make slices, and it's delicious. Supposedly. Not supposedly, it is. It's good. Um, okay. I'll probably be looking right at my nose. Hi. Um, this is probably not a beautiful um, vantage point, but just so you can see, it's really good. With cheese, and ham, and bacon, and onions. Um... It kind of tastes like an omelette, or a quiche maybe, without the crust. I don't know. Anyway, here is a savory Christmas treat for you and yours. And, um, yeah, so Merry Christmas. And I hope you try this one. Um, even if it's just in order to give somebody in your family a heart attack, because Lord. Hmm. Alrighty, guys. Merry Christmas.